Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Kinnick and this is PHP for Dummies Day 10. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use the include function to customize the appearance of a page. Okay, so um, I've got two files open here, one called index.php and one called in includes.txt. They are both in the same folder, which is the tutorial 10 folder in my PHP for Dummies folder, which is located in my web folder. What we're going to do is create a basic HTML page uh, with um, a small head with a title saying PHP for Dummies 10. Close the title out, close the head out, and open the body. Just close it up. and close up the HTML. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, make some uh, some text. Uh, so we'll just type welcome to my site. Extra text. Blah, blah, blah. Let's add a break tag. And within all of this, we will create a font, font, and the size will be, we'll set the size later, and we'll set a color, set that to, uh, we'll set it later. And what else can we do? Uh, okay, let's, well, let's just do that for now. So we'll close out the font. Uh, sorry. And, uh, Oh, let's create a div, a div, a div align, and we'll set that to, we'll set it later, and, uh, sorry, I forgot to put the equal sign, and we'll close the div. Let's go see what this looks like in, in Chrome. Okay, so as you can see, there's like, uh, everything we wrote, but it's got no style at all. So now let's go add some style using includes uh, in Notepad++. Okay. In the includes.txt file, I'm just going to define a few variables. Even though it's not a PHP file, you'll see what I mean just now. So the variable color will equal to whatever you want. The variable size will equal to something else. And the variable align will equal to something else. Save that, go back to index.php. Now what we do, uh, at the top, we'll just open a PHP bracket and type include includes.txt. And uh, <coughs> close that out. Now, just to make sure, just to give you an idea of what's happening, let's go back to uh, Chrome to see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you know what's going to happen, but let's go have a look. Oops, sorry about that. I forgot to uh, put the includes.txt in uh, double quotes. Now it should work. Let's go back and see. Okay, so what it's done here, it's actually taken the text we put in our text file and written it as text, not PHP. So I'll show you how we can go change that. Okay, so what it's actually doing, it's uh, taking the, the text we put in our text file and just displaying it as text. We can fix this by saving the includes.txt file as includes.php. So we'll just do that now quickly. And let's go see in, in Chrome if it works. Oops, I forgot. Sorry, I'm very forgetful today. We've also got to change it in our index.php to includes.php, otherwise it's just saving the same thing. Let's go, let's go see how, if it works now. Okay, and it still doesn't work. Can anyone, can, do you think you know why? Well, I'm going to show you why now in Notepad++. We've forgotten one thing. We have to wrap all the text in includes.php with the PHP brackets, otherwise it's just th the, the browser just thinks it's text. Let's do that now. And it should work, let's go see. And it worked. Uh, you cannot see any of the, <coughs> of the uh, PHP code on the page. <coughs> 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 
So now let's go see uh, if we can actually edit the PHP code in our includes.php file so that it styles the page. All right, so the color, we can put red. The size, we'll put 22. And the align, we'll put it as center. Let's go see if that works. Now remember, well, it's not working now because we haven't actually included it in, into where we need it. So let's go back to our index.php file and do it. So the way we do this, we'll just open some PHP brackets and type e, uh, and type echo. And what's it for size? Uh, echo the variable size. We close out our PHP bracket. We'll do the same for color. Echo color. And we'll close it out. And one last one, the align. So open up PHP. Echo align. Close it out. And it's going to work now. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. Um, if you enjoy my videos, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel.